Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to Slime Shy Plays, and today I'm going to be showing you some things that you should do during the Christmas event in Royal High. And I haven't been posting many Royal High videos, so I'm planning to post a little bit more. And so first of all, you want to get your lucky spin wheel, computer login, and fountain of dreams. Let's go to the fountain of dreams. Okay, so it is loading. Um, and what I really think you should do is just get your basic daily login stuff. If you don't, if you're not really wanting to play Royal High, I would just suggest to do that and also sleep. Um, but every time you come and sleep, you might not have much sleep. So sometimes you could just not do it some days and then completely wait till it's at zero. So it might take a very long time. Um, so just do this. Um, so the mini April cupcakes. This is the ferocious wolf mask. Um, I'm just going to drink something real quick. Um, while you guys are watching this. So after you're done doing the Fountain of Dreams, computer login, and spin the wheel, I would just suggest to um, click on your cell phone, click this, and see what your energy is at. If your energy is below 50, I would suggest to go sleep. So let's go sleep. So really, most the places that I would go sleep is Diamond Beach. And that is super close to Royal High. Um, and if you uh, if you like diamond farming, I mean, really the only thing you have to do for diamond farming is just go on your computer or iPad and just look diamond farm. So you come here, you click on this, you press sleeping bag, click on that, you open up your sleeping bag and you sleep. You wait till you, you got to 100%. Since um, you guys are just going to wait, I'm just going to tell you some things. So, if you guys like diamond timing like me, or are kind, are kind of lazy and like don't like diamond finding, um, you could just get your daily login and just play some Royal High Days um, because just doing some couple, doing homework and a couple classes in Royal High, New Campus, you can get XP and with XP you can level up. And if you level up, if you, I'm pretty sure if you have no game passes, you get 300 diamonds and if you have all the game passes you get 1800 and I have other game passes so I have 1800 I know that some of you guys might not be able to afford all of the game passes well I meant all the multipliers so um you could just do this um you could go and shop there is I'm saving up for the the grease skate boots, um, but you could still get the candy. Eh. Wow. I'm not going to because I kind of don't want any of this. All I wanted was the uh, earrings, but we do have 11 days to get it. It says on December 1st, so that means in about a week, in five days, we will. Why is my door still open? In a week and five days, we will get the new set. Also, why I like um, going to Diamond Beach to 
sleep is because after you're done sleeping, you could just go down the island, getting all the um, seashells, because the seashells give you uh, diamonds, and that's really helpful. I'm pretty sure that anywhere right here don't give you diamonds, so um, yeah. Okay, um, I also would suggest getting the flying speed game pass. Um, because they really help you out, and it wouldn't take that long to. It wouldn't take that long to do a round of diamond farming. So I'm just gonna show you how long a round of diamond farming is. So on a piece of paper that I have, I'm going to write down how long, when I start. So first of all, all you have to do is teleport to Royal High New Campus, and um, let's just wait to finish this. Okay, um, almost done, almost done loading. Okay, so basically this is about 6 minutes and 10 seconds, so I'm going to write that down, 6 minutes and... 15 seconds. Okay, now let's start. I don't usually talk while I'm doing this, so this might be like a little long. If you don't have the game passes, this might take you double or three times the time as I'm doing it here. But it doesn't. But it's okay. Um, I'm not sure how much you get. Um, but I could do it again. Um, you could just do this for yourself. I had about 2,000 something. I did a video of showing my diamond farming routines. And I'm planning to do another one of those. Um, by the way, if you are enjoying the video so far, please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And it would really help me out. Okay, so we've gotten about half of the diamonds here. But the ultimate diamonds that I think you should get is this one that gives you um, 120 if you have all the bank, uh, you have all the multipliers and um, one other one. But I like getting all of them because if you have all the game passes, you get six times as many diamonds as people without the game pass. I also think that you should get all the 60 ones or like all the. Hmm all the like green diamonds like the green diamonds inside the tower because those give you quite a lot but if you do not have the game passes or the multipliers i would suggest get all of them because that would really help you out on getting some diamonds also once you're done diamond farming at Royal high new campus i would just keep on going until um you get your homework and then once you get your homework um, you can just turn it in and you'll get some XP and you'll also be getting diamonds. But you will get an F on all of your classes if you don't go to them. And if you go to them, you will not be diamond farming. So I would rather diamond farm um, and get all Fs and get all, all A's and not diamond farm. I mean, but you could always get all A's again. Um, and the next day, and this, and diamond farming here doesn't even take a whole day in Royal High. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to search up on Google, um, how long is a Royal High New Campus day? Question mark. So, so, so it says, when does the word, oh, wait, mm. uh, uh, how uh, how long is a royal high day? Let's just do that. Okay, how long is a royal high school day? I got the conclusion that one more high minute adds up to two minutes in real life. Everything else was just simple math. When one total day in Royal High is 48 minutes, if you're a farmer who only stays up 
till 3 p.m. the entire day is 20 minutes. So it seems like the entire day is 20 minutes, I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah. If you just keep on diamond farming for a long time, you should be getting about 2,000, like, um, well, a lot of diamonds, because doing this only takes, like, five minutes, so you might get, like, 4,000 diamonds if you just stay here and diamond farm, because once you're done diamond farming, um, that whole school on the outside, the diamonds that you got at first probably would show up because um, it does take a little while for you to diamond farm and it doesn't take so long for the diamonds to show up but it does take a little longer for the like bigger diamonds to show up including like the ones that give you 100 tiny or 60 or 30. The other ones should give you 30, it depends what the other ones you're looking at. And the red ones should give you 120 if you have all the multipliers. So that means if you don't have the multipliers and you click and you get the yellow one, you should be getting about 5 diamonds. If I did my math correctly. And if you glitch through the wall like me, how I always do this, I would not try to, well, I would try to get out of it, but like it's almost impossible. Where in the world am I? Eh, there we go. So if you like me, all dressed up as super nice, I would not do that because that would happen too many times. <laughs> okay, so let's do a color here. style. So my favorite hairstyle to wear is this one. I'm going to call it blonde because I like the blonde hair. And so basically I would just get all the diamonds here. There is also a diamond in the water. Um, so there's, there is some diamonds on the roof right here. And now all you have to do is get in here and zoom out and then you would come under the waterfall, get all the diamonds there, and you would just do this um, all one Royal High School day, and then you just wait till you get your homework. I mean, I never knew that a Royal High School day was um, 20 minutes. I didn't think that. I thought it was only like 5 minutes. So, if you're role playing one school day, um, that might take... Like, you might not know what to do in your day, so I wouldn't suggest role players, um, not to role play that often. Because you kind of are wasting your time if you're role playing. By the way, if you, um, wear wings, just to make it look like more, um, more realistic. You could, um, uh, okay, so, uh, you could wear wings if you want to, I mean, your wings pretty much go through anything, I'm pretty sure. Eh. But honestly, I'm not sure if your wings go through anything. I was just trying. <gasps> Look, I had 20,000 just like five minutes ago, and I already drained like 1,200 diamonds. So just on the outside. So there is many spots on the inside that you might miss and you might forget. I usually forget a lot of them um, a lot of the time while I'm diamond farming. So I not I so I don't usually get the full amount of diamonds, but it is completely okay. You don't have to get the whole full amount. All you have to do is get the basic ones, just like the ones that give you the most. There's one right here in the fireplace that gives you 120. And then you sit on the chairs, they give you about six or one. So um, yeah, I really think that these multipliers would help you so much if you're diamond farming. 
but I do understand if you do not have any Robux and they do cost a lot because if you click on the Vampire Shop, the Double Diamonds is 749 and then the Quadruple Diamonds is 1649. But if you do, if you add 749 plus 749 and then add that, uh, if it does not equal 1,649, and if it equals even less, then I suggest just to buy um, the double di double diamonds just three times. But I bought both of them because, like, I just kind of wanted to. So yeah. So yeah. There is many spots that you can get diamonds in Royal High New Campus, but, um, yeah, I, not even I remember all the spots, but I do not get the ones inside the dorms, unless if I have my own dorm, I'm going into my dorm. Otherwise, I do not get them. Yeah. Wait, something dropped that I... If you are a diamond farmer, this might take a very long time to get at least 40,000 diamonds. I mean, I already had 20,000 because I diamond farmed this morning. But you could earn quite a lot in just an hour and a half on diamond farming. But honestly, I think that Royal High New Campus um, gives you a lot more diamonds than Enchantix. But I would just go to Enchantix after you did Royal High New Campus because you would be able to get the diamonds there, but it does take a while for it to load. So you could just um, you could just get the diamonds in Royal High. They do take a long time to get all the diamonds in Royal High New Campus. Um, but I always start going behind um, the, 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 the princess, the carriage, so that's where I always start. You can start wherever you want, but it might be a little confusing to remember where you start. But for me, that's the easiest way for me to remember where I start. Um, and yeah, I usually start from the outside, then go in. By the way, in the art room, if you put your speed all the way up to 299, all you have to do is try to glitch through the window if you do not make it. Um, but it's okay, all you have to do is like run straight through the window. I might take it look like a minute to get through, but it doesn't even take that long. And these two diamonds give me 120, so that would be 240 just on those two diamonds alone. Then there's two other diamonds like that, so 400, that 240 plus 240 is 409, 480, and that's quite a lot, and just the red diamonds. Um, and I pretty much got all the diamonds in one round here, I'm pretty sure. I think I just missed two. Um, there's one diamond on the floor right here, right for the ballroom. Then there's a oh, one right there. Protect. So there's a diamond right here, kind of pretending to be one of those balls. And that holds a diamond. So yeah, there is so many spots. Um, yeah. So. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I was just giving you some tips on what you should do to diamond farm. Like, well, what you should do to diamond farm, or like, what ways to get diamonds without, with diamond farming and without. But if you don't like diamond farming, it's okay. Um, you could just spend one school day of oil high, and yeah. But if you are diamond farming, I would not suggest wearing like big fancy shoes and stuff because that makes it a little harder for you to glitch through things and yeah i don't think we would want that but bye please like and subscribe hit that bell notification down below and please join my robot group i'll leave the link in the description below bye